If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Oh, be still my heart. If you love the sweet, delicious, and frosty treat Dole Whip at Adventureland inside Disneyland, and crave it, but can't make the trip to Anaheim, we've got good news. Dole just announced coming soon to a frozen section near you. They're selling Dole Whip. They are selling Dole Whip outside of Disneyland. It's something we've all asked for, and I am here for it. It's so freaking delicious there at the Tiki Bar. That, oh, my God. Oh, it's so good. And here's the deal. They're not just selling pineapple. They're going to do strawberry and mango, too. Uh, I'm not sure if it's released yet, but they say uh, sometime this year that drops. Now we get to determine, it, was it... Is it the dessert that's great, or is it where the dessert is that's great? We all know we love Disneyland, but is it not as good outside of Disneyland? We'll find out. I mean, we all had churros outside of Disneyland. It's not the same. It really isn't the same. Uh, New York Post says a man from Spain was recently ordered to pay his ex-wife $215,000 for 25 years of unpaid domestic labor. His ex said her... Uh, that that, that uh, she and her daughters were left with, with nothing after the couple divorced in 2020. The court decided she was owed the money for working as a housewife and mother while her husband amassed a $6.4 million fortune from successful gym business that he was running. And the ex-wife says she hopes that the decision will inspire other women to, quote, know that we can claim for housework when there is a separation of goods agreement. Here in America, a bunch of men just went, really? Uh, World Wrestling Entertainment, you know them as WWE, Monday Night Raw, WrestleMania, you know, great athletes. They are amazing. I like watching it still. I'm a grown man. But they are predetermined finishes. And if that's news to you, I am sorry to ruin the illusion. That said, according to a new report from CNBC, WWE is in talks with regulators in Colorado and Michigan to legalize sports betting on wrestling. Seriously, so they're working with the accounting firm Ernst & Young. They're uh, from the Academy Awards, the ones that hold the uh, the winners of the Academy Awards. They would secure the match results, and the wrestlers wouldn't be told the results of their matches until like a couple hours before their match, which sounds like a good idea maybe on paper, but this, I do not think that's a smart idea at all. So we'll see if that actually ever gets off the ground. I don't think it will ever happen in Nevada, but who knows? I've been wrong before. Finally, uh, 65-year-old Donald Matthew Santa Croce, he walked into a bank in Salt Lake City on Monday with the most Utah polite, lovely bank robbery you've ever heard. Please pardon me, is what the note said. Please pardon me for doing this, but this is a robbery. Please give me one dollar. Thank you. I don't know why I think people from Utah are from London, but that's this, the voice I went with. Uh, so the tellers read it, they give him a dollar, and then they ask him to leave, but he wouldn't leave, and he told them to call police, and he waited. Police took their time getting there. Luckily, he wasn't armed, but when police did show up, he said, yeah, I did it, and I, I want to get arrested and go to federal prison. He is actually asking to be put to federal prison, and he promised if he's not put in federal prison, he will ask for more money next time. So he is sent to federal prison. And if that sounds crazy, sure, it's not the first time it's happened, though. Guy in North Carolina back in 2011 did the same thing to go to prison to get health care. And then in 2012, a guy in California, homeless guy, uh, he did the same to get shelter and medicine. Canada is one flight away. <laughs> it's tough to immigrate to Canada, though. So this might be the easier route. That's fine. You know, listen, you get your square meals, the whole deal. Find no copays in prison. One or two seven BGS. What's worse, prison or copays? Hmm.